Welcome to Babyface Hills and your boy Pops Griffin. I got two out of my four guys with me. To my right, Menace Red. Yo, yo. To my left, Ricky Bobby. What's up, what's up? You know what it is. This is where we talk professional wrestling, primarily WWE. And we are on the road to WrestleMania, so there is nothing to talk about except for the Elimination Chamber. It is here. <laughs> would get excited because this is one of my favorites but not this year in particular oh and so especially on the men's side so let's start with the women okay um right now the women that are in this here um we have Liv morgan like Liv. Mm -hmm. we have becky love mm -hmm. becky we have naomi love mm -hmm. naomi we have bianca we love bianca we have two stratton the new on the block okay Love her too, cool. And we have Jade. No, it's Raquel. Welcome back, Rodriguez. <laughs> Very happy to see Raquel. Obviously, you know Babyface Hills. We've always been big fans, big supporters of Raquel. So first of all, welcome back. Um, and yeah, let, let's talk about what you like about the Women's Elimination Chamber. Who you like? We'll talk about Jade later on. So, um, I like I like the Chamber, the Women's Chamber. I like the people that are in it. It is kind of disappointing. Jay's not in it, but to see Raquel back is fire. She's big. Um, probably going to do a little bit of damage in there. I think Becky's ultimately going to win. But overall, it's a good match. You get a little bit of everything in that match. Yeah, you definitely get a good variety of uh, movesets and like different types of wrestlers in that match. Um, I do wish Jay was in it, though. I do like Raquel, though. Happy she's back. But I think that if they... Had Jade in the Rumble, hyped her up. She almost won it. And for her just to not really be seen like that anymore is kind of a disappointment. That's my thoughts on it. No, I agree with you. Edson. Again, we'll, we'll talk, we'll dive into Jade's situation a little bit later. Um, right now, just as far as the women that are in there, I'm excited that, you know, Raquel is back. She's always been supported by the pod here. We're fans. So I'm glad that she's there. And like Brett said, she's definitely going to do some damage. Again, like Red said, uh, I think it may be unanimous. We all probably are picking Becky to win the chamber for the women, for her and Rhea to go forward. So, <clears throat> but um, I do expect it to be good. I expect it to be entertaining, which is good. And like I said, I, I actually really like it more than the uh, men's chamber right now, personally. Yeah, same. I, I think we're very entertaining because, you know, the people in there, they always make for good matches. Some main event people, trailblazers current new wave people it's a good mixture of people now who you got winning it ricky bob uh becky okay so yeah we're unanimous on that yeah i'm pretty sure becky's gonna win it um that's I, the only disappointing yeah that thing. no it yeah. is it, it's predictable i like if i could pick one i want Liv morgan to get it but mm. i think it's gonna go to becky that's interesting Liv had held the title before yeah, Liv held the title, yeah. So, that's interesting how do you think um stratton's gonna do i think she can wrestle I think she's good in the ring. Yeah. I actually uh, wasn't disappointed that she was in the match at all. So I think she'll blend in well. And I think she'll fit in with people like Liv Morgan and Naomi like when it comes to like wrestling ability. Yeah. She's athletic. I think she'll have a moment in the match probably. Yeah. Um, I like I like Tiffany Stratton being in it overall. I like the, the segment they did with them on Raw before they all started fighting in the Nia Jax uh, clean house. She told Bianca Belair she saw last year, which is funny. <laughs> and then, uh, but yeah, I think that that segment was good. I think she's a good personality, and I think, like I said, she's athletic, so that it'll be fine. <clears throat> Definitely be a good, a good match to follow. High action. Absolutely, and um, what I believe is going to be the main event of the night is Rhea and uh, Nia. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I mean, listen. Let me just say this right now. Obviously, uh, the Queen of Darkness is going to win. I got her winning at least. But um, Naya has been causing havoc. I mean, just havoc amongst the women in her attempt to get after Rhea. That has been impressive. Yeah. Yeah. She, um, yeah, there were all six women in the Elimination Chamber out there. You got Bianca Bell out there. Mm -hmm. Bianca Belair out there. Becky Lynch. Raquel Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. And... 
three more women. But those were like heavy hitters. And she went out there and cleaned them out, no problem. Talk about it. Nobody nobody <laughs> laid a finger on it. It's insane. Yeah. And this is the third week in a row she's done something like that. So yes. I'm I'm excited for the match. Um Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's a good match. I think it I think it'd be decent. I think the overall moment would just be Rhea defending it in her home like this. She hasn't been uh she hasn't wrestled in Australia in seven years, she said. So this whole mommy character and all that stuff is new to those people, which is dope. So she'll have that moment. Yeah, and I think it's gonna be a great moment for her. And that's why I totally understand them having um you know, Naya be the competition, you know, just this big big obstacle to overcome, right? And mm-hmm. really display uh Rhea's power and strength and ability and all that stuff like that. What I'm surprised at though is the level of dominance that they have allowed uh Naya to uh you know to have against for these last few weeks. I mean she's just every time she's come out, she's destroyed everything. Well I think I think that's their goal. To make it seem like Nia is like this big, unstoppable, unbeatable. Big, unbeatable. So when Rhea does beat her in the chamber, it looks like a bigger thing. Aha, uh-huh, almost like a big show early days. Andre the Giant, great days, right? It's yeah, King impossible. Kong, Bundy. Yeah. Yeah. Because she she looks unbeatable at this point in these past few weeks. So if she goes and, and Rhea beats her, it's kind of look like a big accomplishment for Rhea. So yeah. that, that, that's, that's, that's exactly what it is. Um, I don't think it's going to be like a necessarily like great match just because really Nia is limited to like pushes or like somebody runs into her falls mm-hmm. leg drops mm-hmm. kicks but she can't <laughs> she can't do splashes and stuff because she hurts people mm-hmm. but I think it would be a good match Rio probably lift her up which would be like huge moment yeah yeah yeah, yeah. nice alright and so I got Rio winning yeah. Ricky Bobby Rio winning sadly Rear, wow. never say it. But Sadly, no, we're not even gonna go there. Yeah, terrible Red. title reign. Give it to Naya. Uh, do we want to unpack this? A terrible title reign, bro. You know how bro, we already talked about this. Her title reign is not good. Besides like, Becky Lynch, she has Come put on. the this Come title on. in the biggest spotlight that it's been in. Church, no facts. No, who else? No. Who? What time is she? What time is she holding the raw, the raw mm-hmm. champ? Yeah, B, you uh, gonna say Bianca's title ring? Uh, Bianca's title is very, very impressive. Uh, boring. That, you can't that, that's, sell that's, that's more boring. The ES that's more it's boring than right. Rhea's. No, Rhea, not just because she's not defending the belt, bro. She's not defending it. When she does defend, it's a lackluster match against a lackluster. It's people. value. But but, but it's okay. You know you know what's the title? Alexa's quality title, more than quality. Ring that, um, mid. Yes, she did. Alexa's title is No, it was fire um, mid. Uh, Ronda had a title reign with the Raw Champ. She was she was the Raw Champ. Don't know. Ronda. Ronda was. That's the, the name you bring up, bro. Mid, oh, she, bro. Yeah, cause that's all I have to say. She was Rhea way better than Rhea. Is, she she beat Nia. Listen. She beat Alexa. When you talk she about Rhea, all the, all the Rhea, Rhea, her time. Rhea is putting herself in a stratosphere of where she's only going to be able to be mentioned with people like Becky. Like Charlotte. But she hasn't. That's what she's putting herself in. She, she has. She's How? there. How? She's there, the most popular woman she, on the she's roster. She's the champ. And she what hasn't lost since she beat the female goat. She barely even played. She barely even It's not she about, barely, bro. She barely even. She got the title and she's developed into this amazing character that people want to see. They're putting a whole pay per view in a whole nother country off the strength of her. That's, That's dope, huge. Bro. That's dope, bro. They're streaming at 2 a.m., they don't care yeah. about us watching it. They care about those people there for That's her dope, moment. Bro. That's crazy. They put pay per views in other places all the time. I bro. guess this is not new. They done pay per views in Canada. Becky Lynch didn't get a pay per view where she was from. Thing. Oh, then that's on Becky Lynch. Like <laughs> you, think, you, think, you think you think you think you think it's in Australia this just versus Ronda Rousey? Crazy. No, no, it's it, clearly in there, Australia clearly, for on, Ricky Bobby. No. Rhea Ripley. Clear, 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 She's clear, on bro. the poster. No. She's the main event. Why wouldn't she be? It's her own country. Because it's for it's her. Just a plus. It's just a plus. No, Elimination Chamber is just a plus. No. They're putting Rhea out there for no, that reason. It's not about Just Rhea. like when Bad they're, Bunny they're, came out, no. Bad Bunny was the main event. They're, right. go, they're going all around the world with these pay-per-views. It's not just for this, like, hey, Rhea. Yeah, just like when everywhere they, they go, everybody's not the main event when if they're from that place. Clash at the Castle, Drew lost to Roman in the main event. And that was where Drew's from. You got to be that person to have that pay-per-view moment. 
Nah, this is a big moment for her, bro. Seriously. I mean, of course she's not going to lose to Nia Jax. This is a big moment for her, but that doesn't change the fact that her reign is bloodluster. Compared to other females that have held the wrong as champ, she's not It's a different them. game now, bro. She's not gone through. She's not one Because, and the thing is, you can't, like, the, the reign hasn't, like, if, if she was defending, it would be different. But she's barely defending, and when she does defend, it's against not so good people. If Nia Jax is the best person on your resume... What does that say about you? The best person on her resume is Charlotte It's who she went Flair. against. Yeah. A year ago. Since, still, since and then, she's still she holding the title. Since then, who has she, who has she uh, when I guess that I could think about other than Liv Morgan? The thing about it, though, bro, Big. her character <laughs> right <laughs> now. That's embarrassing. Like, for, for her to be, like, top three on your matches list, like, you, you well, can't Well, I mean, she can't like, just beat on Bianca and Becky all year, bro. It's going to diminish them. Bianca's already diminished. Nobody else she's is like, really around until recently. Well, we'll see how this goes, but because now there's now now there's more people, but there's there's a few more women around now. Okay, we'll have to pick this discussion up some other time because we could go forever with this battle here. Yeah. Let's talk about this men's chamber, the individuals that are in it. What do you guys think? We got Drew, La Knight, Ko, Orton, uh, Lashley, Logan and uh, Paul. Logan Paul. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, my pick, I'm just calling my pick because I'm not really happy with this because of the whole situation, how it all went down. But instead of being that old man telling everybody to get off my lawn, I'm just going to make my pick, okay? And my pick is the megastar L.A. Knight. That's my pick to win. I want to see him go fight Seth at WrestleMania for that belt. Yeah. It's not I, bad. I think L.A. Knight is a good choice to make the people happy. Uh, I think him and Seth will have a pretty good match. Um, it's between L.A. Knight and Drew, I think, that um, are going to win. I don't think Drew's a candidate. I Drew, Drew's done. never really a candidate for any. People are calling for Drew. I'm about to say, we talked about this. got to put some respect on Drew's name. You got to put some respect on Drew's when name. Did, when did the panel become like big? I took, I took two weeks off, man. I come back and everyone's did, Drew. Did you, well, last, time, last, time I, last time I was here, everyone was... Drew's t- Drew's just we acknowledge mid-card. that. We acknowledge Drew don't wanna, that. Drew don't wanna, Drew about to be out the door. Drew don't want to just sit down and be that the already. Guy. You're because late. Listen, we listen, acknowledge listen, listen, that listen, earlier listen, in the listen, show. Listen, listen, listen. The thing is, Drew's not, in my opinion. I have LA Knight and Kevin Owens. Those are those are my those are my two people. Kevin Owens did not win this match. He has a hard chance of Drew McIntyre. No, he Look doesn't. Look at Drew McIntyre in the past year. Yeah, yeah, year. How much you want to bet to be LA Knight and Drew McIntyre last two? Honestly, more than likely, but it's because Drew is that guy who's always there but never wins. You see, it's always been like that for the past year, has it not? He He's might always not there, win. but he never wins. He's in every match, but he never wins. If it's not LA Knight, then it's Drew. But it's gonna be LA Knight because it's not gonna be Drew. If, I hope if, it is, if, if, Drew, if Drew wins, no, and honestly like though, happening. honestly, if it's LA Knight, <laughs> I hate to say this, but it's way easier for Damian Priest to cash in on LA Knight than. Um, sad for and somebody. how sad would that be? That the <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. Gets his no. moment, and now <laughs> Priest cashes it in. Bro. That's but we thought happen. it would be a failure, and it ends up being a success. I'm not gonna say he's gonna wow. cash it in same night or immediately or WrestleMania. Hey, he's, yo. Got, he's got till July, but LA Knight <laughs> has three months tops of that title, Listen, and I, he's cashing it. I gotta say this, Fred. You know, you hear these things first. I would say it's a spoiler alert, but the wise man told me. <laughs> That's copyright infringement. So I won't say that. I'll just say good call by the pod. Again, pay attention, man. Yeah, I think 90 days tops LA Knight has it. Or whoever whoever wins this match, because whoever's winning this match is probably going to beat Seth. Like 90% going to beat Seth at WrestleMania. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, then Damian Priest is going to cash in. What do we, he got till July. SummerSlam is in August. He's going to cash in at one of these PLEs. I don't. Call. I don't know. I don't know if he's got. I don't know if he's getting that though. Who? It don't matter who. Who would him six people? And I don't know. If Damian Priest is getting. They that do like all. Damian though. They Damian do. Priest. He, bro, he's get. He's gonna catch it. Maybe he won't win. Maybe, but I think if it's LA Knight, LA Knight's gonna get the short on the stick, bro. You want to yeah. see him? You, you want him to be your your champ? Who? Damian Priest. Want Damian Priest to be your Cody champ? Cody Rhodes is gonna be my champ personally. <laughs> 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 But I'm saying for this title, this is this is um, this title is gonna go through a couple of what they call transitional champions. I think the transitional champion stage is gonna go L.A. Knight, Damian Priest, Gunther. If you ask me, bookmark it. Another good Book call by the pod. I would say a spoiler alert, but 
wise men said it's copyright <laughs> infringement. They believe in kayfabe for the feels. If you go off script, then it's got to be real. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Baby Face Heels.